What's going on everybody? It's been a long time and I am back. <laughs> this is going to be a series on DevOps interviews, how to give them uh, and uh, quite a bit of focus on how to uh, pass them, what the interview is looking for, uh, what topics are covered, and the specific questions that you're most likely going to be facing. Over the last six months or so, I've gotten a huge number of questions uh, like YouTube comments, Twitter, people have been sending me emails like, I'm thinking of getting into DevOps, what do I need to study? What's the interview going to be like? What do I need to prepare? Um, and I don't know if there's a great place that has those answers, um, including a lot of DevOps courses that I've looked at. They look like they're, they're like kind of tooling specific courses. And that's really not, in my opinion, what DevOps is about or has ever been about or should be about. It's not particularly useful to learn a s specific tool without like the greater context of what we're actually trying to do here. So this series of videos is going to be a super detailed look at all the different kind of major highlights of a DevOps interview, the major topics that are going to get covered, uh, and some of the minor ones. It's going to give you, if you're an interviewee, it'll not only give you the the kind of stuff to study and stuff to know and the specific concepts you need to understand, but it'll also tell you kind of what the interviewer um, is usually trying to find out. And if you're an interviewer, it'll hopefully help you empathize with, with the terrified person coming in uh, that has to know the answers to all these like 17 different tech subjects. So for the record, when I say DevOps interview, like I'm talking about all the job roles that are generally associated with that uh, from things like site reliability engineer, I'm an SRE right now, um, to roles that have DevOps in the title, which is kind of not a DevOpsy thing, but basically anywhere where DevOps skills are mentioned in the description or title of the job. Um, that's what we're talking about here. And this stuff is even useful for a lot of software development um, kind of roles, like having these skill sets, they're practically useful. I can only speak from my experience and the experience of all of my coworkers and friends that I've asked, uh, but this is the general shape of the interview that I've had used on me and that, that I have used um, at several different companies over the last uh, five-ish years um, where this DevOps stuff started coming into vogue. However, if you experience something that's very different, definitely uh, I intend for the comments around these videos to be like kind of a collaborative effort of, you know, collecting great questions and uh, sharing experiences of like what you saw during your interviews um, or what's important to you when you're interviewing a candidate. Here are the main subjects that we're going to kind of talk about uh, in this series and each of these will have its own video. The first subject will be kind of general Linux, kind of the easy Linux basics. You will almost certainly have seen this in your phone interview. These are like common weed out questions. Uh, like it or not, my most popular video ever on YouTube is a top 10 Linux job interview questions. It's been years and the conversation in those comments has still not ceased about how basic those questions are, how it's not enough to hire someone. Yes, those are the phone screen weed out questions. You will have probably faced them before, but because people are getting pretty good at uh, Googling these things on the spot uh, during a phone interview, you will almost certainly be asked basic Linux questions again during your interview. Then there'll also be some kind of more free form Linux troubleshooting stuff. So you'll be given a problem and kind of asked to come up with an approach like where would you look? What would you do? What commands would you use? Uh, and we'll, for each of these topics, kind of I'll, I'll cover the questions you're likely to see and the answers that they are likely looking for, kind of the direction you should be studying in for these. After your general technical and your general Linux uh, stuff, you'll almost certainly have a uh, general cloud section. So for whatever cloud provider the company you're interviewing for is using, um, expect questions that are trying to suss out whether you uh, actually know what you're doing with that. If someone plopped you in front of uh, you know, a new Amazon account, could you set up networking? Could you uh, set up like a three tier web architecture? So these will be like cloud and cloud infrastructure and cloud services questions about what's available in the cloud that you're supposed to be interviewing for and some kind of architecture level questions usually. Along with cloud comes networking. So expect um, at least a, a portion of the interview to be about basic networking skills. Um, more and more this is being abstracted, so you're not like logging into switches or routers and configuring them. Um, it's all software-defined networking um, that's abstracted by some cloud provider, um, but the basics still apply. So we'll cover the basic networking questions that you're most likely to uh, get during a DevOps interview. Uh, containers are another big 
subject. I'm sure you've heard of Docker. Maybe you've used that and many other container uh, runtimes. If that is something that you'll be doing at this job, expect basic container questions. We'll cover them here. Uh, and finally, there is usually a pretty uh, significant scripting or programming uh, component. It's kind of stopping just shy of like uh, software development that you would see uh, as part of a full like programming role, like a software developer, software engineer role. Um, but that knowledge is not optional. And um, you'll usually see the basics of programming and scripting covered during one of these interviews. Um, this can be actually one of the most time consuming parts of the interview, just because it takes a long time to write code on a whiteboard or hopefully um, in a real editor. But we're gonna walk through some of the very basic questions um, that I see get asked a lot so that you can at least um, kind of scoot through a lot of the common ones uh, with, with confidence. There are other topics, like security is a big one that you might expect to find on this list. Um, I'll probably do a video on that, but that's um, something that I'm not an expert in, so I feel less comfortable like teaching it authoritatively. Um, but we can definitely go over some basic security stuff and some basic required security knowledge that you'll need uh, regardless of which uh, cloud environment you're working in. Uh, a lot of the time for DevOps positions, as you're talking about networking, there will be some security questions like, do you need that port open? How would you make sure that, you know, someone from the internet can't talk to this thing, even though some of your other services need to talk to port 22 on this machine, that kind of thing. The other thing that uh, I might have kind of a jumping off point for is uh, database questions. Database knowledge is not really optional, but I feel like it often uh, doesn't get covered during interviews because there's so little time and you're covering so like all that list of subjects we just talked about. I just find that basic database knowledge is absolutely required for doing the job. Often only one or two database questions get asked during an interview and they're usually about scaling, um, which is more from the infrastructure side from the development, you know, how do you do a join in SQL uh, kind of perspective. Um, but I might add a little video about the basics of that. So this video is getting long enough. Uh, let's just jump right in in the next one and talk about kind of uh, set a little bit of context about what we're doing in an interview and uh, what you need to be communicating kind of with every answer underneath. You need to be talking to the purpose of why they're interviewing and what they're trying to figure out. And we're going to talk about what that is in the next video. So yeah, let's jump in. Peace.